Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Theo here. On today's video, we are going to do a POV drive with the E46 M3 right here. So, let's go. If this is the first time you stopped by the channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and also like this video if you like this type of content. Well, right now I am in New Jersey and I came to pick up some parts. Hopefully you don't see them on the back here. Things that I'm gonna install on the Porsche Cayman S that I have at home. Yes, so I left maybe around 2.30 a.m. in the morning and right now it's about six and some change. So I've purchased the parts already. Now I'm actually on my way back and I just decided to start the video for you guys because it's daytime. I left, it was late night and I really just wanted to get here quickly so i had a full tank of gas when i started and i drove about 265 miles and i think i have about a little over a quarter left so far the drive has been very good the seats are comfortable but not the best seat you know definitely if you want a comfort ride you should get a more comfort car not like a sport car but these seats are great but one thing i have to mention is that the suspension is really 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 firm going into bumps you really feel like you are the track and then it's like juggling you around like this and that's just because you know i have a firmer suspension so now let's go and drive back home to maryland and let me uh, show you this amazing drive what do you guys think about this uh, scenery right here look at all these rocks it's very beautiful man I just wonder how they cut it off to make the road and you know like stack them up like that. What kind of machine does this type of job? I always wonder. You can see here my dash. I have my usual uh, lights on the left here, and you can see the speed going uh, on 80. Nothing to report here people passing me so you can see I'm not speeding I'm really trying to enjoy the ride one thing I'm for sure not used to is coming to a gas station and someone else is pumping my gas so I got out of the car and the guy was looking at me like okay what are you doing sir and well he's just here to pump the gas so as you can see right there I am getting gas I guess I'm staying warm in the car while he's doing his thing. Yep, $4.99 a gallon. Gas prices as high as hell. There she go, all her glory. Getting juiced up and ready to go. Yes, sir. Miss Historic, back on the road. Of course, it started pouring. Actually, the rain slowed down. That's why they started to fail me was pouring heavily earlier and yeah now i feel like i'm gonna drive on the rain all the way back home we are about halfway to maryland i have two hours left as you can see right here to get to my location so let's keep driving and this is my gas tank after i fill it up almost at three quarter and two hours left to drive 144 miles left so I made a quick pit stop and now we are back on the road and the sun is out. Yes sir. I am one hour away from the house. Stop sign, I won't come in there and let's go. Ah. feeling this gear smg automatic auto manual actually because smg is not really like a normal automatic because it's a manual transmission with a pump that activates the clutch when you know the car needs to shift so although it is automatic but it's not like a conventional automatic that is made automatic where if you want to do like a manual swap you need a total new transmission this one for example when you do a manual swap you simply remove that automatic pump you know and then install a few bits and that's it you have a manual car 
Now, the question is, am I going to convert this car to a manual? Well, probably, you know, in the future, I, I will probably do that because, of course, this car will be more fun if it is manual than, you know, automatic the way it is right now. As you can see, 67 miles driving right now and uh, almost half a tank. Probably when I get home, I will be half a tank. So I burn less gas on a return trip than the coming trip. Weird. Well, only when I get home, I will confirm that statement and also pull up some data to see what was my, you know, average consumption and whatnot. But for now, I'm glad the sun is out. That means I might be able to play soccer if I get home really at this time. I can go quick and play soccer with my guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Let me try to speed up a little bit and uh, really catch these guys playing so that I can play maybe half time or something. Yeah, let's go. I made it to uh, the spot where we normally play soccer. I'm not actually home, so I just decided to come here. So let's see in terms of gas mileage what we did here. Okay, 19 map per gallon average during the whole trip. That's probably because um, during the past hours I was really on mode push. I was really driving a little faster than I was before. So probably I did messed up the gas mileage by driving much faster than I was doing before. I was kind of being efficient and. I have 196 miles left on the tank. As you can see, it's about half a tank right there. I mean, this is the full tank that I had when I was leaving New Jersey, which is like four hours drive. So in total, as you can see, I drove 497 um, miles. This is on, I would say, it took me probably a tank and a half or something like that because I filled up when I was leaving. And then when I got back, it was like, a quarter left and i filled it up when i was coming back now I'm half a tank yeah so let me actually switch this camera around overall after the eight hour drive i don't feel pretty tired now mind you before i left i slept and woke up and just you know took a shower and just started driving now i don't feel tired but I don't think I can do four more hours of driving because at that point, maybe my back will start hurting. These seats are not the best in terms of the comfort, but for the eight hour drive, it can do like right now, it's about noon and I'm gonna go play soccer and probably I can do the rest of the day without sleeping. So I can really have a normal after eight hour drive. And But I know that when I sleep tonight, I'm gonna just crash because all this fatigue that I accumulated on the body would really show at, at that point. Right, and I think this E46 M3, if I was driving normally, probably I would have maybe 22 miles per gallon average, which is not bad for a performance car. Now, in terms of reliability, I do believe that um, this car is very reliable. I did the Vanos recently, and I'm getting myself prepared to also do the subframe and the road bearing sometime in the also near future, because those are really the big three things that you have to do on the car. The car is pretty reliable, looks good. I know it looks dirty right now. I don't even want to show you guys how dirty it is because, yes, man, I drove on the rain and, and, and drove on all type of places. So it's, it's really messy. So I have to really do a deep cleaning of the car uh, before I, you know, start driving around to like car meet or whatnot. Well, on this note, I hope you like the POV drive. This car, you know, eight hour drive, 500 miles and, you know, she's ready to continue the drive. So again, on this note, see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't liked, make sure you like and also comment to let me know um, if you like this type of content where I really show you how I go about, you know, doing some stuff, buying parts because I did travel to buy some parts for the Porsche. And yeah, so soon enough, stick on the channel to see how I install these parts and see what parts I actually purchased. So there's a few things that I, you know, purchased for the Porsche to make her look different and also change a few things. So stay tuned to, to learn about that. Now it's time for me to go play soccer. So see you on the next video. Bye-bye.